Hello guys, welcome to this video from online to helper. Very quickly in this video, I want to show you how you can send um, bulk email messages with your own private SMTP server. <clears throat> yeah, private SMTP server it's an SMTP which allows you to send unlimited emails. It gives you authority over your sending limits you can decide your own personal sending limit without any third party um, command and as you can see on your screen now this is one of the clients i delivered the smtp to and uh, so far in two days it was able to achieve this result so how do you also achieve this result is very simple one you can either learn how you can set up your own smtp server by getting our tutorial guide or you should give the job to us and we deliver to you so i'm just going to show you a quick demo of how we actually set up our own server what are the requirement things that you need the first requirements you need is that you need a pc you need a computer then you need um you need a vps machine and uh, which is a virtual private machine you need a domain name you need a um, pmta files and license you need to get your byte files ready or you can use your booty and your um, win scp then you need to get your scripts you need to get the commands and uh, at the same time you need to have your dns records ready and your dkm so once you have all that then you are good to go to set up your own smtp server there are different methods where you can set up your own smtp you can build a web mail with your vps you can build smtp you can be poster you can build um email application which is a multi or you can do mailways and some other things there but we're not going there in this video today we just want to concentrate on our our empty smtp server so <clears throat> i'm going to order for a vps as you can see my order has been processed so waiting for um my order to comes in and so uh, i have my domain ready uh probably i'll be using this domain or something so you can get your domain get your domain ready get your vps so then just waiting for them to deliver my vps and move to the next thing so what are the things we need again i said we need the byte files uh, i'm using byte files in my own case and this is the byte files i'm going to be using here this is i'm going to be using so i will log in with my information and continue i have everything ready so keep in touch and keep watching this video if this is your first time of checking on our video can lead you by hitting the subscribe button and like this video as we proceed okay so now that uh we have our vps you can see the information yet so we let me just copy this yeah. Okay. In on my notepad, and we'll be using or paste it there. Okay. So the first thing is to log in on your byte files or all your putty any one you are using. So um, I'm using putty for those work um, to log in this. Then CentOS is our username. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, CentOS. The username and my password goes is then logged in. So accept and say save this is the first time. So now the first thing you do is to open a new terminal console, and from this part, um, this where we start running our command line. So my first command will be like changing of my password. I'll change the password and set the root login. So I'll be writing this code. So type your password. Don't worry, it won't show when you are typing this. So just keep typing and once you're done, you click on enter. So you enter again, you click right click to enter. Oh sorry. Okay. Now this is the first thing here the next thing is that we set a root password for this so there is a command you just need to run on this and it will automatically set your root password and you reboot so you run the command and enter 
then you can reboot this and put in your password so once you type in your password you click on enter and close this up so that's the first thing now we've set our root password so now we just going to log in with our root password once this is done see it's connecting yet the rebooting is working so once it's done we set our root password for this all right it's done so i'm logging out my centos and logging as roots then my password follows i will write my password here and once it's done you click on login again to log into your roots folder all right so open this so the next thing for you is to set your uh dna sorry your name server your host name so um uh, i have another domain which i will be using here i will be using this particular domain where is it i'll be using this domain yeah i'll be using this this will be our domain of the day okay so just going to put this here just domain. so you run your uh what's it called you run your dns record some um, your host name you set host name you install him then you install your pmt file you upload files and license then set uh, your um, config file set your config file you uh, run your you um run your um dns records and uh, make a test and that's all so now what we we'll do is that i'm going to set the host name do this and uh, i'll be back you know this is just a short video for you to see how it works i'm setting my own name with this so if you check host name you see it's now set so it so i'm installing my pill yeah so once this is done i'm going to install now this beauty of this course is that we package it in our auto installer everything is going to install upload is going to upload for pmc is going to install it's going to upload your config is going to upload your um what is it called it's going to upload your license everything in this course so instead of going through the manual process this is just the simpler method you can actually work in and everything you need is being given to you just when you get the course you need your vps and your domain that's the two things you need to buy every other thing will be given to you for free of charge in this tutorial you can see this command now is now installing pmt is downloading you can see after the downloading it's now installed you can see it's already installed successfully installed everything is installed he unzipped it and he verified it's working and this is the fashion 5.7 advanced you can see okay now you can see the okay line which is done good now it's time for us to set some other thing now i'm going to do my um v installation and I will import all this just insert it straight up. This is what I will be using. I will copy the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Copy this. And come in here and paste. Then Q. This is this. Okay. And also here is my config file which I will be using in this tutorial. This is the config file which we're going to be using so i'm going to edit this config file with my um my domain and my ip address so i'm doing that by start from my ip this is the ip and uh, i'm replacing this with uh, this okay and now we'll replace all okay first thing one two now is that um I will do it the same for my domain and this is the domain okay let's copy the domain we are using and here's the domain okay yeah then from here i will go back to the config control h then paste the domain and replace all okay guys so i will check for this and see it's okay which means our smtp is working